So it's 5.33. Penny puked twice last night. Because mostly after every feeding. After every feeding. Um, she had a really bad snotty nose. So I had to get some help. Surprisingly, she was okay with me putting the aspirator in her nostrils. That's if she's used to it now. Um, here she is. How you feeling, baby? No fever. I've been checking her temperature too, so I'm just gonna feed her, and then we'll see. Now my headache is still here. So I don't know what's going on. It's been over 24 hours, more than 24 hours, and the headache is still here. How you feeling? <laughs> Still a little bit stuff in your nose. Other than that, she's pretty hydrated. And she's been keeping her food down. So far, so good. I've noticed she's been um, holding her hands like this a lot lately, too. Yes, that she's grasping onto her own hands and like just pulling it with each other. So her poor elephant's batteries are dying. And it's, I don't know of those who know about this one, but there's no way to get to the batteries unless you cut them open. So I might have to surgically cut the elephant open and replace the batteries and sew them back up. Because <laughs> every time it starts playing, Penny will keep on pulling, so she's constantly pulling. And it's like, what? Why doesn't it finish? Why is it the same song? Okay, so we're back to our old routine. I felt like this whole move thing threw us off and how we do our video loggings and recordings. So today's Penny outfit for today is a little, um, I don't even know what kind of dog this is, dog print tee with uh, ballerina sleeves and a fuchsia pink bow paired with a ruffle butt right here, um, denim shorts. Now we got these at for $3 and the top was $1.99 plus another 15% off. So you're looking at $1.50 or $1.65. Yes, today is going to be high of 23, but with the humidity, it's going to feel like 32. Now, my brother Vincent went out and walked the dogs for me, thank you. And he's like, man, out there is just hot. And he was in his t-shirts and shorts. And then he's like, Cindy, when the sun came out, I was just sweating. Just standing there and sweating. And he was in his shorts and t-shirts, so I figured Penny would be safe like this. And obviously bring a plus one just in case, you know. And my plus one will be her light spring jacket here, super light knit, if we decide to go to the mall today or indoors anywhere that they decide to crank up the heat, not the heat, crank up the AC. You are adorable. Yes, you are. Now Penny and I are going to watch a movie, The Great Gatsby. And now you ask like, uh, isn't it a bit too soon to bring a baby to a theater? Why is this car going so slow? What the hell? And, sorry. Well, Cineplex, that's the movie theater that we're going to have this program called Stars and Stroller, meaning it's designed for new moms that could bring, or not new, but like moms that could bring strollers in and watch a movie. And obviously, the movie will be dimmed and not the movie. The lights will be dimmed and the volume will be lowered so it won't hurt, you know, the baby's ear that are sensitive. And it also encourages new moms to get out of the house, you know, to go back into the world again and, and see new things. And I think it's great. I think it's a good encouragement, right? Um, tickets are the same price, I think less a dollar. Or maybe you have to pay a dollar more just to put the stroller in. 
I don't know. We'll see. I know there was some kind of discount or maybe add-on. But anyways, I'm meeting my sister-in-law, Karen, there with my nephew, my cutie nephew, Evan. Um, and we're going to try it out and see how it goes. She already tried it before and she said that Evan was very, very good there. So I don't know about Penny because she's kind of like, you know, snooty. But I think she's okay. She's pretty quiet now and I fed her. So I think she's going to sleep. My only main concern is when she has an explosion. Because she's tending to do that. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. How it goes. I'm pretty excited to watch a movie. I haven't watched a movie in theaters. Um, since God know when. I think when I was pregnant with Penny. What was it? Oh, we tried to watch the Avengers. I think we tried to watch the Avengers. Like a 3D Avenger thing. But because we bought the tickets too late. Or went to theater too late. The only seat we got was near the front. And it was like literally vibrating. The noise was just vibrating. And it was pretty hard to handle. So we decided not to watch it and walked out. There was also another reason too, but I won't go there. Um, but I think the main point was because I was pregnant and it was already like really, really loud and I was afraid for Penny in my tummy. Cause it was like rumbling, like I could felt my heart like beating out of my chest. So imagine I might have my baby early. So we, we left. So that's the last time we went to theater, which was I assume a year ago. And that was it. Yeah, I think that's the last time I went to see a movie. It's nice to drive around like these little small neighborhoods because you get to see what's around here. Okay. So that's the only elevator in the mall. And I don't know who designed these malls with not having strollers in mind or wheelchair in mind because now the nearest one is the bay or Sears and I was there too and then figured oh this one will be closer but no gotta walk all the way down so the closest elevator is actually near the entrance right there so I could have just drove over there and then went to the elevator and the tiniest elevator with three strollers so frustrating So we're heading home from the movies of The Great Gatsby. I liked it. I liked the movie. It's not too bad, actually. Um, it was long. It's very long. We started at one. We got out at quarter to four. So it's pretty long. But um, there was a few mums in there. I think there was one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. There's nine mums, including me and my sister-in-law, and two seniors and one guy like I don't know where this guy came from like out of the ordinary there's just one single guy sitting up there so whatever anyways um, yeah the noise level was down the lights were dimmed and yeah it was enjoyable the only thing was and there was a change table um, for the convenience too uh, only thing was that with Penny like I know she gets bored really fast so there would be times I'd be like getting up and walking around the theater and there are moms that does that too and you know she gets fussy but she wants to stretch it out and it's hot we don't have a place to stretch it out and yeah it was it was pretty good I would do it again oh plus um, I have a scene card scene cards is like their membership points card and apparently I got a free movie today so I didn't have to pay for my ticket because I had enough points to redeem for a free movie. So I was like, yes, I'll use that, please. Thank you. Yeah, so it was pretty good. We are heading home now. Um, I still have this headache. I don't know what's going on with my head. I also bought Tylenol before the movie to take. And then I took one at one and then didn't work as well. And so I took a second one at two. So I already have two Tylenols in me. 
and right now it's like four o'clock so I don't know what's going on it's almost like two days by tonight you'll be two days like 40 hours non-stop headache so I don't know if it's continue like maybe the third day I think I'm going to go to the doctors that like get it checked out or go to walk-in clinic or something because this is ridiculous ridiculous I don't think I'm dehydrated because I've been drinking a lot of stuff too liquids I don't even know why, but I'm having a hard time uploading yesterday's video log for today, and it's taking forever, so I don't know why it's taking forever, so sorry, but I'm trying to get it up, but I don't know why. We just finished the bath. Um, I have the portable AC going on because this house has no AC at all and it's going to be a really hot hot night tonight so I decided to put the AC on so she could sleep comfortably too because she's still kind of under the weather so I tried to make the room and herself as comfortable as possible there you go okay baby say goodnight so we could go good night. She just cried. She just stopped crying right now. Yeah, baby, my poor baby. Still sick with her rosy cheeks. Rosy cheeks. Okay, good night, baby. Good night. Boy, bless you. Ooh. Okay, kisses. Ooh. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Okay. <laughs> Good night.